Hi everyone, this is Guillaume from Lois. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up color swatches on your store if you're using one of our themes. There are three instances of color swatches across the theme. They can be displayed as filters in a collection page. They can also be displayed under product cards and also as variant options in the product pages. So I'll walk you through the steps for all of this. First of all, your products must be created with color variants in the Shopify admin. In some cases, the inventory can be structured with color options as individual products instead of actual variants. If this is the case for you and you want to maintain such an inventory structure, we have built our themes with a workaround for you and you will have to use the linkable variant block in the product page. I'm including the link to our support documentation about this in the video description below. Otherwise, you're using the color variants in the admin, and this is what you'll have to do. Uh, the most important step is to give each existing color a specific color code. So for this, uh, from the theme editor, you will go to the theme settings and find the color swatches tab. Here, each color that exists on your store has to be written down in this exact format. Uh, we'll use dark red as an example. So here it goes, dark red, colon, hashtag, color code. Then you can hit enter for adding a line break and keep going with the other colors. And in case you're not familiar with color hex codes, these are composed of six letters and digits there's plenty of free online tools for you to get color codes that match your variants. Here's just one of them as an example, where you can sample colors and get the code that you can then copy and paste into the editor and build color swatches in your theme. The link is also in the description below. Now you may also want to use images instead of plain colors. This is useful to show patterns or gradients, for instance. In this case, you will add them the same way, but the hashtag and code will be replaced with the file name and extension. For example, camo colon camo.png. In this example, your image is a PNG and the name of the file is camo with a capital C. The other extra step now is to upload your image in the admin. You do so by opening the files tab under content. This is also a good way for you to validate which file extension you should use in the theme editor if you're not sure whether it's a PNG or a JPEG. Now, regardless if you're using color codes or images, please be extra careful with how you type in uh, your swatch names, file names and extensions. Watch for extra spacings and capital letters because there has to be no discrepancy with how your variants or image files are named. But from that point on, congratulations, because the hardest part is done. Let's enable color swatches in the filters now. So from the theme editor, you must go to the collection template and open the product grid settings. In there, you will find a setting for the color option type, which you can set to swatches. There's also a useful link to the guidelines in case you need them. If you notice one or a few color swatches that are blank or don't seem to work as expected in the filters, just go back to the color swatch tab in the theme settings and double check that no color variant is missing and that there is no typo anywhere. Now that you set up color filters, you may want to display color swatches in the product cards like in this example. Go back to theme settings, close the color swatches tab and go to products. If you scroll down a little, you will find the color swatch type options where you can choose the layout that works best for you. The last thing you might want to do now is to enable the color swatches in your product pages. Still from the theme editor, you can go to the product template and open the settings of the variant picker block that is located under product information. You will find again the color option type setting that you can set to swatch. Please note that if you enable the quick view feature on your store, you will also need to customize the quick view template following the same steps. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and that you succeeded at setting up color swatches on your store. Thanks a lot for watching and good luck with your business.